Hello, Virgo. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Free Speaks Guidance. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you're an existing subscriber, welcome back. I appreciate all of you. Virgo, today I'll be pulling the energy between yourself and the person you're connected to energetically. You may resonate more with the person to the left or the right. Take the roles and reverse them as need be. I will be doing an extended to this reading. If you're interested in the extended, there will be a link in the description box below to purchase the extended. If you're seeking something more personal, my contact information is in the description box below as well. Let's hop into this, Virgo, and see what you need to know. Spirit, guides, angels, ancestors of love, health, and wealth, I welcome you here. I ask that you take me to the white light of protection as I go within the tarot. Show me clear, honest messages for Virgo regarding the person you're connected to energetically. Clear, honest messages for Virgo. Virgo, drop the zodiac sign of the person on your mind in the comment section so I can pull their energy. Like the video so I can pull your energy. Make sure you're dropping their zodiac sign because honestly speaking, Virgos, you guys have the, y'all readings be shaky because y'all don't interact. So they be shaky. That's all I got. So make sure you're dropping the zodiac sign of the person on your mind in the comment section if you are trying to get a clear reading for your situation. Virgo, messages for Virgo regarding their person. Virgo and their person. Give me Virgo's energy when it comes to this connection. The magician, Gemini energy. You're trying to manifest somebody. So there is somebody you are trying to manifest in your life. You're trying to draw, you're trying to lure this person in. You got all the tools to do it, but what is the but? Eight of Cups, part of you wants to walk away. Hi, Arlene, sweetheart. Thank you for speaking. Y'all readings are off the chain. I think you're the only one I'm reading for, so I'm going to focus on you today. So it looks like you walked away from a situation. Whoever this particular person is that you walked away from, you still love this particular person. I feel like you love this person, but I also feel like this is an individual who plays mind games too, is what I see when it comes to this connection. When it comes to this particular person's overall energy in you, three at once, they're standing back watching you and they're not making any moves. So you're being watched by this particular person, but I feel like you're watching this person too. Some of you guys may be dealing with someone that's already in a relationship, Taurus energy. That's what I see here. I see an individual that's already in a relationship with somebody and watching you. You still care about this particular person. You try to ignore this particular person because you feel like the only reason they're coming around when they do come around is to play mind games. And I know they hit you up sometimes because there's too many birds here. And so this is somebody that sends messages to you and you try to ignore the, this person's messages. You feel like they're only reaching out to play games with you. You really don't have time. Virgo. Thank you so much, Erlene, for the $2 super chat. You're talking about 100% on point. I love it. Virgo. Show me what's going on here with Virgo. Show me what's going on. Show me Virgo's energy when it comes to this person. Queen of Swords, whoever this particular person is, you cut them off. You gave them back to the universe. See here, God, take them. I don't want them. Tell them to stop calling me. Tell them to stop texting me. They ain't doing nothing but playing games. This is what I see. When it's all said and done, the challenge for you is blocking them because they won't stay away. So regardless if you cut this one off or not, they always figure out a way to get back in is what I see. Regardless, whoever, how, whatever boundaries you set here, this person always pushes the envelope. They always figure out how to cross these boundaries is what I see when it comes to this particular person. One way they're crossing boundaries for some of you is just showing up at places you're at. Even if they're not showing up at your house, they're showing up places they know you're going to be at. They're asking your friends. They're asking your, fr your family about you. This person stays crossing boundaries with you. It's what I see when it comes to this connection. They refuse to let you go. 
They're refusing to let go. You feel trapped. You done cry so much. You done cry so much. You like, I ain't even got no more tears. They keeping you in bondage. This is somebody keeping you in bondage. Every time you make one foot forward to walk away from the connection, there they are with their hand back on your shoulder again, pulling you right back in. The way you feel about reconnecting with this particular individual, I feel like with this nine of cups energy here, you're trying to pour into something new. And this really may be pouring into you because I do feel like a lot of you guys are trying to pull away from this connection, but this person is not allowing you to, is what I see. And you could have kids by this particular person. That may be, they may even be using the kids as pawns in order to get with you. When it's all said and done with this particular person, as I stated, you want to walk away, but you can't. You can't walk away. You cannot walk away. Not with all of these mountains here. It's a challenge. It's hard for you to walk away. Actions I see you taking when it comes to this person praying for healing. A lot of you guys are praying to get out of this. You're praying to get past this phase in your life. You feel like this person is attached to some bad karmic debt and you pray like, please, Lord, help me out of this. When is this going to be over? I've already told this person to leave me alone. I already stopped taking their phone calls. Everywhere I go, they show up. Even in my sleep, I'm not sleeping at night. You're trying to ground yourself. You're trying to get your life back together. Queen of Cups. You had this person's back. This person can't forget that. This is somebody whose back you had. They can't forget that. Somebody has a kid by this person. You may even be pregnant by this person at this point in time, or this person may be pregnant by you. As I stated, trying to find some type of way to heal, but this person isn't allowing you to. So you're seeking healing. Leo energy. You could be dealing with a Leo. You're seeking some form of peace here. They, who is this drinking? You or them? Somebody here is drinking. You haven't lost hope. I can say that. You haven't lost hope on love. So you still got hope when it comes to love. You feel like, you know, let me just tell you what I see. What you want is you want somebody, I ain't going to say it's them. You want somebody to come in and protect you because you feel like you can't protect yourself against this particular person. You want somebody that's strong enough to protect you because they always crossing boundaries. They always crossing the line is what I see. So now you're like, I'm praying that I just give me somebody strong that can come in and protect me. You want to be protected. You want your heart to, to be protected. You want to be cared for. You want to be loved. This is not a Virgo that still want a toxic relationship. I'm just not getting that. I'm not. I'm getting a Virgo that's attempting to walk away. And every time they walk away, whoever this particular person is, they come right back around. And knowing, knowing they in a relationship with somebody else. Show me this person's energy when it comes to Virgo. Show me their energy when it comes to Virgo. Look, I told you they had somebody else. They're still juggling, but still trying to hold on to you. What is the challenge with this person when it comes to releasing Virgo? Why would they not release Virgo? Why would this person not release Virgo? They still have a lot of feelings for you. It will hurt this person dearly to let go of you. It will break this person's heart if they didn't have access to you. So this is somebody here that would be heartbroken if they did not have access to you. Wow. On their mind, when it comes to this particular person, they feel like you guys are going to eventually get past this. Somebody's dealing with a Leo. They feel like that you guys are going to eventually get past this. They feel like you're not going to be mad at them forever. They feel like you're going to calm back down. And I don't even feel like you're mad. I don't. They feel like if they continue to reach out, if they continue to pursue, then you're eventually, you're, they'll eventually wear you down and you'll give them another opportunity. So they're like, if Virgo don't take my call today, they'll take it tomorrow. If Virgo don't take my call this week, they'll take it next week. They feel like if they're persistent, then they'll be able to get back with you. It's what I told you. Can't make it up. 
This is somebody that feels like if you guys are persistent, they'll be able to get back with you. This person is even claiming to be your twin flame or your soulmate. And they in a whole relationship, but they still out here claiming you. Actions I see this person taking is still trying. They are still trying. You're trying to hide yourself. You're trying to cover yourself. You cut this person off romantically. They are still trying. Let's take a sneak peek into the extended to see how this is going to play out long term for the two of you. They're not giving up. They're not giving up. If you block them, it does not matter. They're going to start going through people that you know. If they don't know where you stay at, okay, you do not have to tell me that in the comments. This is a person that will continue to pursue Virgo. This is not everybody's reading. If your person isn't trying to pursue you, this is definitely not your reading. This is a Virgo that's getting the hell word out of them. Virgo. Messages for Virgo regarding this person. How will this play out? How will this play out for Virgo and this person? <clears throat> How will it unfold? How will this unfold for Virgo and this individual? How will this play out? Is this love that they have for Virgo or is this just lust? What is their genuine intention if Virgo does give them another chance? Does this person regret how they treated Virgo? Will they ever apologize and, and it be sincere? Does this person miss Virgo? Can Virgo trust them if they do take them back? Is this Virgo's soulmate or a karmic lesson? Is there a third party they're dealing with? If so, what's going on with them in the third party? Are they in love with the third party? Is the third party in love with them? How will that connection play out with them and the third party? What are they hiding from Virgo? What will they do next? In the next 30 days, if there's no communication, will they reach out? Should Virgo give them a chance? And will this ever lead to a long-term healthy relationship for Virgo and this person? Virgo, if you're interested in how this will unfold with you and this particular person that is persistent, to try to get back with you, there is a link in the description box below to purchase the extended. If this is where we depart, remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm sending love and light your way, and I'm going to stay.